he's an inspirational leadership coach. He's the creator of the Good Leadership Breakfast, a national speaker and nationally recognized blogger. And he's an expert in helping good people create great results. So the CEO of Good Leadership Enterprises, Paul Bach. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It takes courage to talk about goodness. It takes courage to put it out there as a lens for people to see themselves through. Because sometimes what we see, we don't actually like. So we're really glad that you're here to examine yourself through this as a leader and to help think about how you can help us spread goodness. It's why we exist. We really believe the only way to do anything transformational or significant is actually to get good leaders to work together with good intentions. That's how the great things come alive. I'm so excited as a Gopher season ticket holder to introduce the interim athletic director for the greatest university on the state of the planet, Minnesota, Go Minnesota Gopher interim, interim athletic director, Beth Getz. I played three sports in high school, and before that, I uh, played anything I could get my hands on. Um, turns out I wasn't a really great athlete, um, but I figured out how to make yourself, how to make myself valuable to the teams that I was on. And as you try and define who you are, you don't want it to be about the mistakes that an institution made or an individual made. We want to tell our great story um, and all of the, the, the great things that happen each and every day. And we want to model that for our student athletes. Yes, you'll make bad decisions. Yes, tough times are going to come. But we're going to stand up and we're going to be better and stronger for it in the long run. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've, uh, I've had people say it. And they really have no, uh, no embarrassment about just walking up to you and saying, well, you can't do this. You, don't know, you didn't play football. And I said, I didn't know they were going to ask me to call plays next weekend. Yeah, that's right. Um, so I think it's about building those relationships and building trust um, and not being afraid to correct people if they want to put you in a, in a box that says you can't do this um, because of, of who you are. I'm excited to announce the Bucket of Goodwill today with the match that'll be $5,882. Yeah, so awesome. Can you draw? Uh, Russell St. John. Whoa, Russell, we were talking earlier this morning. <laughs> Come on up. Yeah, fantastic. The Southwest Metro Educational Cooperative in Chaska. An alternative high school for kids. Who are Good, thank you very much, Russell. Good. People who are generous are actually healthier than people who are not, especially people who are generous with their time. Genuine appreciation creates a team. I'd like to send you home uh, with an idea that Beth gave us. Um, at the table, we were talking about the people in our lives that saw something in us that we didn't even see in ourselves. Who are you going to call? But more importantly, the world needs people who radiate goodness. Our mission here is to spread goodness. We need you to pass it on in order to make that happen. So the question of the day then is, are you ready to radiate goodness? Okay, then seize the day. We'll see you next month when Maureen Bausch is our speaker. Have a wonderful weekend. Keep doing uh, good things for good people. I try to lead the best I can by always bringing out the good in others. But philanthropy. Just being a friend. Make sure I'm involved in uh, the associations around our community. To make an effort to make time for people. I serve at our local church. Coaching, uh, mentoring, counseling. I participate in mentoring. And I'm involved in, in its educational cooperative in Chaska. Coming to this.